Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. You have dimensions that are going to be showing inside, outside of walls. They're all important dimensions, but they may not be dimensions that you want to use in every case. How do we change that? So let me zoom in on the closet area right here. Number one, I have some overlapping dimensions from this outside wall. Let's click on the dimension, grab hold of the line, and I can extend that dimension anywhere I need. Now it's no longer in my workspace. I like to hide dimensions in many cases. If I wish to remove a dimension from the screen, I simply right click on the dimension. I highlight it, and there's an option here called hide. I click on it, that dimension line is gone. I click on this 48 inch dimension line, I don't need the outside of that wall dimension. I'll hide it because all I care about really is my workspace, which is this 43 and a half inches. Now, where did those dimensions go? Let's say that you hid a dimension by accident anywhere on your floor plan, not in the work zones, but anywhere on your floor plan. Double click on the plan. It'll open up your display settings. The fifth tab over is called hidden items. And when I click on it, guess what? All of my dimensions that I hid from that original plan are listed here. So if I move this over and I just click on a dimension, watch what happens when I click on it. You'll notice down here, that dimension line is the one that's activated. When I click on that one, that one's activated. So you'll see where they are as you click. They'll actually flash on the screen for me as I click, and you'll see the dimension line. For instance, the 204 and a 16th is here. So if you ever wanted to bring a dimension line back, you simply click on it, click display, and that dimension line will come back. Now, sometimes when you adjust these dimensions, do you notice the lead and the, and the end line are extended? Most of the time, you're looking to have a dimension um, line where, where the lead line is just off the outside of the wall. When I right-clicked on the dimension and I highlight it, you'll notice there's something here called Extend Left and Extend Right. If I click on Extend Left and Move, I can move the left dimension line. And remember, the dimension lines are left because it's left if you were facing that wall. I can move that line down. I can click over here and I say extend right, move that line down. And I can do the same thing for this dimension. Highlight it, go down to extend left, bring that guy down here, go down and click on it again, say extend right. We'll slide that one on down. I must have stopped. Let me do that one more time. Extend right. We'll go ahead and we'll bring that on down here. Oh, I see what's going on. My 144 extend right is actually in the way. We can bring that one down too, and we're good to go. So it's really easy to make changes to your dimensions. Simply by right-clicking on them, you can quickly clean your screen up the way you want it to look. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.